Hello, my name is Sally Hedges Greenwood and this is my second video about my project to get my book published with photography and thank you very much for those who have backed me so far. Using my own and other photographs with photography tells my own story in tandem with a more general exploration of life with photography in our daily lives from the time of its inception to today's photographic revolution. I was a privileged child of the 60s who was nevertheless abused by a non-family member. The book, which in part charts my journey, punctuated not only with photography but with an expansive text, is designed to be uplifting, ultimately and subliminally encouraging others to reach for their full potential. The message is, if I can survive, heal and grow into a normal adult, despite such challenges, anyone can. I happen to do it with photography, and that might not be the way for others. Having started to take photographs at a very young age, I started to use my camera to unconsciously stay in the moment and distract myself. I progressed to exploring the moment, taking photographs that observed and commented on the way others lived, either directly with candid and documentary photography or indirectly, for example, with photographs of buildings where people were normally omnipresent. Capturing a decisive and therefore defining moment that makes an image unique is a skill that has developed over time. Perhaps I have a perceptiveness that is born from my challenging experiences. Eventually, I learnt to read photographs, my own and others, which enabled me to look through the family photograph album that spanned the generations of more than a hundred years. Layers of meaning in photographs became obvious to me. In effect, I have a private and visual diary. Unlike a written diary, where the moment is immortalised on the page, there is a fluidity about it, allowing emotions to dissipate or evolve, transform and change. The exploration has been fun, at times revealing tender, otherwise unsaid moments in my own history and that of others. I am an associate of the Royal Photographic Society and as a mature student I formalised my love of the medium with an honours degree in applied photography and digital imaging. The title and subject for my extended dissertation was The Power in Photography. The differentiation being between the power for the photographer and the power for the viewer, because they will rarely be the same.